bro. Living in Fort Stewart, bro. This shit is horrible, bro. Like, look at this, bro. This is Fort Stewart, bro. And I'm gonna say the unit name. This is 57 Cash. Look at this, bro. I don't even want to guess what that is. This is 5-7 Cavs building at Fort Stewart, building 636. You got your leftover quesadillas. Free socks. This is where you throw loose socks and panties and stuff in a pile. and It's like a garage sale. You just you just go up and you just take what you need. Honestly, those drivers are probably all moldy. And then bro's like, yo, what up? Welcome to my crib. This is how it usually is. I'm sorry. All-star plug, the soldier that posted this is getting out of the army. He said in his three years, he's never had AC in the summer and never had heat in the winter. And I can honestly believe that because a lot of soldiers at Fort Riley went through the same thing when I was there. Now, whose fault is this? On one hand, you can blame the soldier. You can say, hey, soldier, clean up your area. This is your home. Make sure it's nice. On the other hand, you can blame the leadership. Hey, Sergeant Major, why are your troops living like this? Or hey, Squadron Commander of 5-7, what's going on, brother? Or sister? Do you blame DPW? Do you blame the barracks management? I think it's a little bit of everyone's fault, honestly. And soldiers in those barracks, please don't live like this. If it's something you can control, fix it. If it's something you can't control, like a pest problem, the AC or the heat not working, then obviously come up on the net and say something. And if you have and the leadership or DPW aren't doing it, just go higher and start pissing off all the right people until your problems are fixed. That's not legal advice. Follow me, Silly Goose.